Welcome back to another episode of Just a Pinch. I'm so excited about today's dish. It's a family favorite. We're making chicken and leek pie. Mmm. No mess, no fuss. It's simple. Let's go. As always, the full recipe is down in the description. If you've got any questions along the way, just put them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer those. We're going to start off by getting our chicken out and cutting these into chunks. Now you can cut these up as chunky as you want or as thinly as you want. It's totally up to you. Personally, I like a nice chunky chicken breast. Chunky. Bring a pan up to temperature. Add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Put your chicken in the pan and salt with season and salt with seasoning. <laughs> and season with salt and pepper. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to cook the chicken until there's some browning. It's gonna take between six to eight minutes. We're gonna finish the cooking of the chicken in the oven a little bit later. Right now it's all about adding color because color equals flavor. Yeah, boy! Yeah, look at that. There we go. See how nice and brown that looks. That's what we're looking for. To prepare your leeks, top and tail, and then cut them lengthways. Now it's really, really important that you rinse your leeks under a cold tap. Leeks have a tendency to have quite a bit of dirt and grit in them they grow in really muddy conditions. Look at that, you can actually see the dirt that's in the leek. So we rinse them, rubbing our fingers through the leaves to get rid of that dirt. Imagine biting into your pie and chipping your tooth on like a little rock or something. Ugh. Chop your leeks up however you like and then set these aside. Once your chicken's got enough coloring on it, remove your chicken and set that aside. Add your leeks and season with salt and pepper. Two cloves of crushed garlic. Now all we're looking to do is saute these. We're looking to expel and cook off as much of that water as possible. Because if our sauce is full of too much liquid, we're gonna end up with a soggy pie with no structure. So I'm actually making this dish for my sister who's just touched down in London. Whenever we're around at our mom's house in Durban, this is the kind of dish that she makes for us all the time. It's so delicious, I'm so excited. Ta-da! There she is, welcome. How... <laughs> how... <laughs> okay, how excited are you for mom's chicken and leek pie? Super excited. Mm, me too. Words. Right, what do we need to do next? Um, I think you've got to do the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I found it as well. Velute. 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 <laughs> ah, you got to start your velute. Oh, chick. She knows. Fine, let's get going. She's right. It's now time to start the velute, which is basically the sauce for the pie. So in a separate pan, add your butter and let it melt. As soon as it starts to foam, it's now time to add your flour. Mix this thoroughly until it turns into a paste. Gently add your chicken stock bit by bit, mixing thoroughly each time. You're looking for the texture and consistency of a thick custard. Right, this is looking perfect for me. Turn off the heat and set this aside. Back to the leeks. As you can see, they've softened really nicely. So deglaze with your white wine. Please don't use that box five liter that you've got at the top of your fridge. That's not for this. If you don't want to use alcohol, you're welcome to completely skip the step. However, Uncle Cyril says it's 100, so go for it. Now let this reduce by half. Add in some fresh herbs. I've got some rosemary and fresh thyme with me. Of course, if you've got tarragon, it's probably best to use that as it goes really, really well with chicken. I don't have any tarragon, unfortunately. Tarragon's got that lovely aniseed -y flavor. Add your chicken back to the pan. This is where we put our chicken velouté in. Velouté is just a fancy French way of saying thick chicken stock. Add a huge dollop of creme fraiche as much as you want really and then stir this all in look at that gorgeous texture 
As we can see, it's nice and thick as well. Make sure you check the consistency of yours. If it's too watery or too liquidy, we need to let it reduce by cooking it further. If it is too thick and too dry, add more water or more chicken stock until you get the right texture. What we don't want to happen is when we cut into that pie, all of the juices just seep out and run all over your plate. We're looking for structure. Yeah, perfect, nailed that. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Roll out your puff pastry. Trust me on this, just buy the stuff from the damn shop. Honestly, you need to roll it out until you get the right size to cover your dish. And ah, yeah, yeah, that size looks good. I think that's gonna work perfectly. Add the contents of your pie into your dish. If you wanna be fancy, you can roll it out on your rolling pin. Look at this, oh, I've always wanted to try it. Ah, oh, I did it. I'm obviously showing you the take of me getting it right. This took me about 12 attempts, but hey, I got it right on camera once and that's all that matters. Tuck the pastry in on itself. There's no need to be Nietzsche. If you fancy, you can roll out some fancy cool little decorations like a nice little leaf here. At least I think that's what that is and pop those on as well. Beat an egg and then gently brush this over your puff pastry. Take a knife and create a little slit in the pastry because you need to let that steam escape. If you don't, your pie might explode. Look, it's never happened to me before, but why would you want to take that risk? Pop this into the oven for about 35 minutes or until golden brown. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Oh my word, look at that pie. <gasps> Damn, it looks good. Right, set it aside and let this cool down. Trust me, don't tuck into this thing now. That is the temperature of the surface of the sun. Or a Willy's sausage roll. <laughs> right, I'm about to cut into this and show you if the structure of the pie has held up and how does it taste. But first, what should they do? Like this video, pop a comment down below and subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Every bit helps, so thank you. Right, should we tuck in? Definitely. Okay, I think we're gonna get her to taste it. really good well thank you for being part of my video mm. well, welcome to London thank you and um, thanks for watching we'll see you next week so good mm.